Hi, I'm Wade from uh, Aeroseal Technical Support. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a little more extensive uh, wand cleaning, um, about how to take the end pieces off and uh, clean out the bottom, bottom nuts and everything. So first we're going to start off by the tools that you'll need. Um, all these tools, they should be in your spare parts kit except maybe the screwdriver, but uh, you'll need the compressed air fitting for your, uh, for your compressed air line to blow it out. Then these are your, uh, your reamer for your wand, um, your centering tube, and then your clean out tool for your sealant line. And then you'll need two wrenches, which should be included in your spare parts kit, and the duct bow pliers, which should be included in your spare parts kit. And then like I said, a screwdriver here. Um, that should be all you need to take this apart and uh, get it cleaned. So, all right, so now I'm gonna start off, uh, I'm gonna start taking this apart so you guys can follow along here. Um, so first, you're gonna take your screwdriver, take the back screw out of the wand. Don't lose that washer there. And then you'll wanna actually, usually I will take a wrench and loosen these up just a little bit. They should only be hand tightened to begin with, so they shouldn't be very tight. So, and then I usually take the reamer and I just kind of push out that sealant tube and just put that off to the side there. Don't lose it. And once you get that out, uh, you should be able to take your duck bill pliers and go on the end like so and then take your wrench and loosen these up you just want to loosen them up a little bit because that'll be kind of a guide to how far to twist these pieces back on you'll take your duck bills off and then now at this point you should be able to just twist these end pieces off right here that's the, the nozzle and, and the back piece and with these off, sometimes you may get built up out in these tubes. Um, so the best way to clean that out is take your blowout tool, which again should be in your spare parts kit or any blowout tool will work. You want to take your wand and just attach it to the end like that and just blow air out. Um, so anything that's down in this tube will come out the end here. So there's nothing down here to capture it, so it'll just blow straight out. Then we will do the same thing, just push it down in for the compressed air clean that side out and that should be it for blowing those tubes out there <clears throat> so and then at this point you will you may want to take this back piece off right here um, you know have the little ferrule down in there and usually if it's overheating you will find uh, some stuff built up down in there um, you'll want to take a little screw or something and uh, kind of dig around and try to blow it out well or you can use even this clean out tool here if you want to go down in there just kind of brick up anything you may another key important piece you can take this air tube out like that if you've overheated you will find there will probably be some burnt sealant on the end you'll want to take your reamer go down in the end right there and ream it out. And if it doesn't go in, that means you probably got a lot of buildup down in there. So you need to get in there, clean that out, because when this tube is in there, if that gap closes, it'll cause the wand to overheat also. So once you do that, you just make sure there's no nothing down in there. If there is, then you can take the little tool, kind of scrub it out and blow it out with you know the blowout tool again, like we did the other piece. So once you got that stuff cleaned out and you got these blue or these tubes blown out um, we can put it back together all right so now that we got the tubes uh, all cleaned out and the airline and uh, sealant line all sprayed out uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put it back together follow along here i'll show you the proper way of getting it together here so first things first uh i always i always take the compressed air side you know with the nozzles um, and it's very important to make sure that this piece you know with the cone shaped on it gets aligned with the compressed air line side. So this tube, uh, it's gotta go on that side because if you get it backwards, it can still overheat and it may not spread the sealant out properly. Um, so always put this on that line. It's, it's probably the most important part. <laughs> so we're just gonna screw this on. And since we just barely loosen these nuts up, we kind of use that as a guide of how far to screw them back on. So I just go up to there. I always kind of leave it at an angle so I can put my tubes in. So I put that one in. And then I just put this back one on, just kind of said, just go up to the nut there. 
And at this point, we can put the tubes and ferrules in there. Uh, so we've got the air tube, uh, which is these, and then the air uh, ferrule. So an easy way to do it, since I don't lose these, I always just go ahead and slide it on there like that. And you'll notice there's a tapered end here. Um, the tapered end goes into the, the nut here, so it seats in there nice and tight. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in that way. And then I will take the middle nut here, go ahead and just finger tighten it here. And you'll want to make sure that the air tube is flush with the front of this nozzle. Um, so like I said, I usually just push it in there and kind of keep my finger there to keep it from pushing out. And I just kind of hand tighten it there. And then now we're gonna put the sealant tube in. So you got the sealant tube and then the sealant ferrule. And you can, and then you can see the brown ferrule here has got uh, tapered end also, but you'll want that tapered end to go into this nut, so it'll be kind of opposite of the white there. So just I'm gonna thread that in there. Um, just kind of finger tighten it there. And then at this point, you can twist them back, and you'll want to use your pliers here, just so that way they stay in line. And then just take these nuts you loosened up, just tighten them. Don't need to go super tight, but just give it a nice snug, snug crank there. Then you can take these pliers back off. And then at this point, everything should be aligned so we can loosen that up a little bit. And then this sealant tube will push right through both of them. And I'll, again, I use the reaming tool here just to kind of push it through. So it came out the front, so I'm gonna push it back in just a little bit. So I'm gonna make sure it's Make sure it's flush with the front of the nozzle there, and you can actually use this too as kind of a centering, centering piece there. So you want that right flush with the front or sticking out just slightly, um, so that way the sealant won't back up in there. So once we got that flush, we're just going to finger tight this back nut here, and then I'm just going to take this wrench and just do a quarter turn, no more than that. You don't need to put anything else on it, um, just to make sure that arrow tube doesn't blow out. So once we got that, everything's nice and tight now, so we're gonna go ahead and put the back screw on, and we you should have a Teflon washer too. Um, you just wanna put that in there, put it in there, and then just go. Put it in the back and then just screw it down. Just give it nice and snug. And then there, everything should be back together. And that's how a wand is taken apart and put back together. So.